Cool Cats, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Despair Girls, where <laughs> we are now trying to leave this tower, and, um... Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? A floor really, really high up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm doing my best to sound as healthy as possible, but I either have, like, really bad allergies or a cold. And it's been going on for a couple of days and I've been trying to avoid recording while I've been uh, sniffling and sneezing and sounding terrible, but there's no avoiding it. So I'm doing my best to not make any sick sounds. Uh, please bear with me if you hear it. I'll do my best to edit out the, uh, the noises. Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I mean, the worst part about that is just looking down. Just don't look down. <laughs> Jotaro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down. Crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. Okay, she's making a big deal out of this, so she must know that they're not actually dead, right? Poor little Taro, even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica, why are we not holding a funeral this time? A funeral? Oh, that! I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter, we can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. That's all. Uh-oh. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Huh? Like I said, you're trying to say Monica is wrong! Man, she even acts kind of like Monica. You're questioning Monica! N -n no, not at all! There's no way Monica could be wrong! And speaking of wrong, aren't the people who put Worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I've never tried it, actually. So, uh, this is... I, I grew up up north uh, and in the Midwest, and um, we put ketchup on our eggs, and I never thought that that was a strange thing. Maybe it was because it was something my grandpa always did for me, like always adding ketchup on my eggs for me, that I, I grew up eating it that way, because that's the way grandpa liked it. And then when I uh, eventually moved to here in Texas, Whenever I put ketchup on my eggs, it's like a big deal to everyone who sees it. They're like, why do you do that? And I was like, I don't know. That's how I grew up. <laughs> it's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup, right? Uh, does it? Look, I was just a little curious, that's all. My head's just a little out of place right now is all. I'm just a teensy bit curious. Like about why mailboxes are always white, or how enemies become friends right after a fight. You don't have to worry about things like that. I, I'm sorry. It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me. Keep loving me forever and ever. Yep, yep. I already know that. It's not something to apologize over. I know you're just a sweet... Gentle little girl. Huh? Gentle? Kotoko, you were so cute, as always. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, this is gross. Oh no. The director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. Oh no, not... not oh no. And now... There's another business you have to attend to, and your mom's gonna come with, okay? Oh, you sick. It's going to be all right. 
Katoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Ooh. Very, very gentle. You creep. No. I don't want gentle. Oh, man. Oh. I am so sorry. I'll do anything, please. Just not that. Oh god. I I, I could I mean, if you, she the the way she was like addressing certain things when she was talking earlier, I kind of got the impression that Maybe something like this was going on behind the scenes with and, and this would probably be the reason why she The reason why she joined the Warriors of Hope. Oh I feel so terrible. What did her mom actually put her through that? Cause it made it sound like the mom was going to be present for it, which is the most disgusting thing ever. If there was ever a character who who probably deserved whatever this little girl made her mom go through, you know, her mom deserved it. I'm sorry. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. I, I'll do my best with singing and acting. <laughs> that is that is absolutely disgusting. It's it's one thing when like Jotaro's parents were so terrible that they didn't want to look at his gorgeous face for some reason and made him wear that mask and I was like that's that's both weird and stupid and cruel but this is this is like next level disgusting so please <laughs> anything but gentle oh oopsies I totally forgot gentle is a bad bad word for Kotaku Whatever, I- you are evil. Jeez, to make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. So what happened with Monica then? Did, like, her family break her- her legs or something like that? And she just became super twisted over it and just started to, like, punish people around her in a cruel way? He's so blind. Blind to their Are foolishness, you... ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness, to their own damnation. Even blind to the fact that they scarred Kotoko like this. Are you kidding me? You monster! It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat, more worthless than dirt, and disgusting, filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should just hold it in, and hold it, and hold it until their intestines explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? It's Nagisa. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps jealous? What are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous of you. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it, it's not that at all. Hey. What do you mean, jealous? Like you don't know. Oh, God, I feel so bad. Because, <sighs> like, I, I mean, I'm, there's no right reason to actually go and, and kill someone, but boy, oh boy, did something need to happen to her mother if, if this is how it went down. Something. I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up! 
Because I, I don't, I can't even think of enough of a punishment that you could give a person, like, sentencing, uh, sending Sarah to, like, jail time for the rest of her life would not, would not satisfy the depth of my disgust there. It would, it, there would be no amount of punishment that you could do to a mom who would put her child through that. <laughs> I don't get it at all. And I'm, I'm just going to want to believe that there's, like, something that I don't understand that happened. Like, it wasn't just that. Like, there was something else that happened. Like, it wasn't really her mom or something like that. I don't know. Because if that's really what happened, this poor girl. And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes. I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. You mean, the Resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Well done, Nagisa. W wait Mata! Hey! What's wrong? It's nothing, just... You're a little close to me is all. Aww, you're such a shy boy, Nagisa. No. Your plan, if it works, our paradise can finally be built. And when that happens, the Warriors of Hope will level up to saviors. Hmm, as our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah, you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Ah, uh, here we go. All right, you can talk now. Cruelty-free cuisine, and then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend. Huh? Now that sounds awesome. I want to see that. <laughs> that was not weird. Not the first floor yet. This is an emergency ladder. Why'd it stop halfway? Jeez, this half-assed ladder. Who, who, where, where is the person in charge? And why is there water to the next of us? Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Oh, okay. We're, we're, <clears throat> we're technically on the second floor, so we're close enough to see the, the water. All right. You're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. 
I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. <laughs> it, it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. <clears throat> we just went down, but now we're climbing up again? Make up your mind, you dolt! Okay, hold on. I feel like there's gonna be there's gonna be a sparkle somewhere around here. Okay, I couldn't find anything here. Um, I'm gonna move on, and I hope that I didn't miss anything, because I I seriously I I went over here as much as I could. I looked for sparkles. We're just gonna move on. If it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. What's that over there? A power panel, right? Yeah. That horrible darkness. Yeah, all we gotta do now is get out of here. Monokuma? Challenge. Find the light in the darkness. A challenge? Again? If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? <laughs> <laughs> the light in the darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? Oh. It's not like that. Two five one nine oh seven. Two five one nine oh seven. Do I have to make those six digit numbers four digits? What do I have to do? Okay, I'm sorry, but how many times am I going to have to tell you to use the damn detect? Toko, can you help me move this locker? Sure, but you think there might be a hidden passageway behind the locker? the heck? There's no hidden passage here. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. Toko, why don't we try moving this locker too? Ugh, you sucker people into doing work for you with your nice words. <laughs> I'm tired. Why do I have to do this? Okay. <clears throat> Two one nine seven. Yay! There's no riddle I can't solve. Yeah, calm down, lady. You only solved a child's riddle. I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. I, I see. 
parkour. You know, I just noticed that they've always been showing me the kids in the same order. So I kind of wonder if maybe they're always going to be shown in the order that I'm going to take care of them from. So I'm guessing the girl will be next. Which makes sense because the name of this chapter is like something girl's paradise or something. Letter from Toa Tower Employee 4. Not the bag. want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey. Hee hee hee. New technology can sure be sketchy at times, huh? It's time for a tutorial once again. <clears throat> now this is a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokumas lurking around. It appears the Beast Monokumas are controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. D but don't be afraid. As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable all the beast monokumas. The iron maiden shaped like a monokuma, aka monokuma maiden, is where the child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll get jumped by a beast monokuma. So look for the correct maiden while you try to avoid the roaming beast monokumas. Beast monokumas move in a specific pattern, so it'd be a good idea to figure that out. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that will help you give a good idea where the singer is. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is... <laughs> can see their pattern. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. Okay, so they just move in a pattern. so we don't get caught. The Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. Right? Nothing to worry about now, right? The ghost that wants to die. Taro jumped off the roof of the kindergarten saying he no longer wanted to live, but now he has to live as a ghost. The life of a ghost is pretty hard. But even though he wants it to end, it can end, but Taro had an idea. Let's change the meaning of live, and to do that, Taro made a very strange move. Which reminds me... Hey, Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I'd believe in ghosts and all that paranormal stuff. 
I may be a liberal arts to the core, but I am capable of thinking logically. But then why are you afraid of the dark? <sighs> you sure come gouging at me. <gasps> Gouging. Are you an idiot? Gouging at my brain to force me to remember my trauma. The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of an experience I had locked up in a dark place. <laughs> oh, you did something bad, so you got locked inside the closet? That happened to me as a kid, too. It's so narrow and dark. It really is scary, huh? Don't mess with me! This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. Aww. For three days? This is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, my mind connects dark and trauma subconsciously. Ugh. Oh, just thinking about it now is giving me the goosebumps. Um, Why were you locked up? Who did that to you? Ugh. Ugh, I remember it is just... Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. I must not die. What in the world is going on? There's not enough information out there to say for sure, but I know one thing. I have to make it out of this town. Until I know for sure that my wife and child are safe, I can't die. As a husband, as a father, I haven't done my job yet. If I die here, I can't give my wife and beautiful child the life they deserve. Oh, that's... that's sad. I'm guessing that was like a piece of paper that he was holding on to. 